Good morning, readers. It's Miss Amanda here with you this morning to share a preschool story time. This story time is aimed at children that are between the ages of three to five, but of course, children of all ages can participate and enjoy the story too. Today, we are going to be reading a story and singing some songs, but first, Let's sing our opening song. Are we ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, Marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as happy as we can. Hello. Okay, friends, I'm so happy you're here with us this morning. You could see I had a little monkey friend with me today, and I wanted to sing you guys a song about monkeys because the story we're going to read today has some naughty monkeys as a character. So let's sing about monkeys jumping on the bed. Are we ready? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So four little monkeys jumped on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Three little monkeys jumped on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. One little monkey jumped on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Okay, little monkey, they were being super naughty, just like the monkeys in our book that we're going to read. So my monkey friend's gonna sit down right here and the book we're going to read today is called Caps for Sale. It's an excellent book. Grown-ups, I love this book because um, it teaches us about patterns, repetition, and color. So it's a great book for early readers. But before we get started, I wanted to show you something special that's inside my memory box. And those of you that have come to Storytime might have gotten to participate in our memory, our memory box. But those of you who haven't, let me tell you what we do. There is something hidden in this book that I also have in our memory box. And so I'm going to show you what's inside our memory box. And when you see it in the story, you have to tell me. Okay, let me give you a hint about what's in our memory box today. Inside our memory box is something that sits up in the sky and keeps the earth warm. What could it be? Let's open and see. It's a sun, the bright warm sun, which we do not have much of today on this dreary North Carolina day. So in my memory box is a sun. I want you to put this in your mind and remember, okay? And I'm gonna put it back inside my memory box and we're gonna read our story. And when you see the sun in our story, you have to shout out and point to it, okay? All right. So 
let's read our story of cats for sale. This was written and illustrated by Esther Slovakina. This is a gigantic book. Let's see if I'm going to be able to hold it. Once there was a peddler who sold cats, but he was not like an ordinary peddler carrying his wares on his back. He carried them on top of his head. First, he had on his own checked cap, then a bunch of gray caps, then a bunch of brown caps, and then a bunch of blue caps, and on the very top, a bunch of red caps. He walked up and down the streets, holding himself very straight as to not upset his caps. And as he went along, he called, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. Can you guys say that at home? Caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street and he walked down the street calling, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. But nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody even wanted a red cap. He began to feel very hungry, but he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, said he, and he walked out of town slowly, slowly as to not upset his caps. Can you guys see all of his caps stacked up so tall on his head? That must take a lot of balance. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, thought he. And he sat down very slowly under the tree and leaned back little by little against the tree trunk so to not to disturb his caps. Then he put his hand to feel if they were straight. First his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, and then the blue caps and the red caps on the very top. They were all there, so he went to sleep. He slept for a long time. Does anybody see anything on this page? The sun from our memory box. You guys must have been using your looking eyes on that one. When he woke up, he was refreshed and rested. Does anyone notice anything missing on the peddler's head? But before standing up, he felt with his hand to make sure all of his caps were in the right place. All he felt was his own checked cap. He looked to the right of him, no caps. He looked to the left of him, no caps. He looked in the back of him, no caps. And he looked behind the tree, no caps. Then he looked up into the tree and what do you think he saw? On every branch sat a monkey on every monkey was a gray or a brown or a blue or a red cap. Look at all those monkeys in a tree. Those monkeys. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke to them. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking a finger at them. You give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, Z -z 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 -z. This made the peddler angry. So he shook both hands at the monkey and said, You monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook both their hands at him and said, Z -z -z -z. Now, he felt quite angry. He stamped his foot and said, You monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped their feet back at him and said, Z -z -z -z. 
By this time, the peddler was really very, very angry. He stamped both his feet and shouted, you monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped their, both their feet back at him and said, Z -z 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 -z. At last, he became so angry, he pulled off his own cap, threw it on the ground, and began to walk away. But then, each monkey pulled off their cap, and all the gray caps, and all the brown caps, and all the blue caps, and all the red caps, came flying down out of the tree. So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. And slowly, slowly, he walked back to town calling, caps, caps for sale. 50 cents a cap. The end. Those naughty monkeys. Now, I want to ask you guys a couple of questions about the book that we just read. So I need you to get your thinking caps on. When the peddler was selling his caps, how many cents did he sell the caps for? Was it 25 cents or was it 50 cents? If you said 50 cents, you are correct. He yelled, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. Okay, my next question is what animal took the caps off the peddler's head? Was it a monkey or was it squirrels? Hmm. If you said monkey, you are correct. Okay, my last question for you. When the peddler lost all of his caps but his own, what color was his only cap on his head? Was it red or was it a checked cap? Whew, this one's tricky. We have to think back to what colors we saw. Hmm. Yes, it was the checked cap. You guys had your thinking caps on. Nice work, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me for a preschool story time. I hope you really enjoyed Caps for Sale. That is one of my family's favorite reads. So I'm really happy I got to share it with you this morning. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Goodbye.